Hello, and welcome to another episode of Your Family Animal Doctor. I'm Sharon Williams, your host. Though we often think of the family animal doctor as our local veterinarian, in actuality, the field of veterinary science extends well beyond providing the routine care our companion animal needs. Veterinarians play a key role in public health, protecting both humans and animals from a variety of diseases that threaten their safety and well-being. In today's show, we will examine the role of veterinarians in public practice. We'll look closely at the use of veterinary expertise in food safety, community health, and the preservation of natural resources. And we will explore the role the family animal doctor plays in protecting the welfare of animals and people alike. It might surprise you to know that the United States Department of Agriculture utilizes the expertise of veterinarians to monitor the condition of livestock coming across the Canadian border, to investigate the introduction of potential foreign animal diseases in both breeding stock and food products, and to certify new veterinary graduates with health accreditations. Dr. Reed McCarty, a veterinarian with the USDA's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service, explained the role veterinarians play in fulfilling the mission and the goals of the organization. We utilize veterinarians in a number of different ways. Uh, mainly their, their primary function here is to protect the health and well-being and improve the marketability of the United States livestock uh, population. We do that in a number of different ways. Uh, we have different cooperative disease eradication programs that we work with the Michigan Department of Agriculture with. We work very closely with them uh, in things like tuberculosis, brucellosis, uh, pseudorabies, scrapie, uh, and even something called NOMS, the National Animal Health Monitoring System. And uh, the primary purpose of that is to go out and collect data from different species throughout the year. And they collect that data and information and in turn hand that back to the producers. Uh, so that they can in turn use that information uh, not only from their own state but uh, throughout the nation to improve their livestock. One of the jobs of the USDA in Michigan is to monitor livestock entering the United States from Canada. Dr. Tom Brown, a USDA border veterinarian, emphasized the importance of catching potentially infected animals before they enter the country. Veterinary services through the USDA has been able to eradicate a number of real important livestock diseases. Around the turn of the, the 19th to the 20th century, they eradicated pleural pneumonia, they've gotten rid of hog cholera, foot and mouth disease, several other important diseases. They've nearly eradicated tuberculosis and also brucellosis. And I thought this is a great opportunity to be part of an organization that can do a lot more than just what a single individual could accomplish in a lifetime. The threat of foreign animal disease extends well beyond livestock arriving from Canada. The USDA's Animal Inspection Service must also contend with virtually every animal or food product that enters this country. Dr. Brown, who is also a certified foreign animal disease inspector, says the USDA works with family animal doctors to investigate foreign animal disease. So the practicing veterinarians, she may call in with a, a call, possible foreign animal disease. One of our foreign animal disease diagnosticians will refer it out, take samples, make observations, and take a history. That information is sent in to our National Veterinary Services Laboratories in Ames, Iowa, where uh, it's taken very seriously immediately. It's a first priority in our organization. The transit time around the world right now, you can be anywhere in 10 hours, which means the possibility of disease entering this country can occur from anywhere in 10 hours. So we have to be constantly vigilant and ready to move quickly to stop it from the spread once it gets into the country. As you can see, the veterinary services being provided by the USDA are extensive and require specific skills. Dr. McCarty told us accreditation is available to veterinary students who are interested in supporting the work of the Animal Inspection Service. To be an accredited veterinarian, one, you uh, need to be a graduate veterinarian and you need to put in an application to our office. Uh, you need to hold a valid uh, license to practice veterinary medicine within that particular state. And then also you need to sit through uh, a veterinary accreditation orientation course, which we put on uh, about twice a year. And uh, then you are issued a certificate. And 
that enables you to actually help uh, the USDA perform some of the regulatory functions, that being brucellosis uh, testing or tuberculosis testing, uh, some of the inspections or necropsies that we might need out in the field, things along those lines. The United States Department of Agriculture is not alone in the battle to protect the public health. The Michigan Department of Agriculture, through its Animal Industry Division, utilizes veterinary expertise to protect the public health and the health of domestic animals, livestock, and pets. Their services, including livestock sale barn inspections, pet shops and dog pound investigations, tuberculosis testing in cattle, deer, and elk, and aquaculture research. MDA and the USDA work closely together in the fight against animal disease. Dr. Mike Chaddock from MDA's Animal Industry Division filled us in on the role of his organization in providing for public health. And our main purpose is to control and eradicate many reportable animal diseases. It is also to work with our animal industries, meaning mostly our livestock industries, including our pet shops and our companion animal industries, to help uh, obviously promote their industries, but to assure our citizens that they have quality products, be them livestock products or be them companion and small animal products. One of the primary goals of the Michigan Department of Agriculture is disease surveillance and eradication. Within the Animal Industry Division, we provide a service to the Michigan producers in a number of different disease monitoring programs. The one today we're talking about is Scrapie, and Scrapie is a disease that is from a group of diseases known as TSEs, or transmissible spongiform encephalopathies. The most common one of those, which is not found in the United States, is mad cow disease. Today we will be testing these sheep using a genetic test that will give us the DNA pattern of these sheep. And the reason why we would like to have that is that there's a particular DNA pattern that sheep have that predispose them to clinical signs of scrapie. So by working with the producer and getting that information, we can help to eliminate those sheep that could potentially carry the disease. The first thing that we'll be doing with the sheep is we'll be using a tool that looks very much like your common toothbrush. And we brush the inside or the buccal side of the sheep's cheek and remove cells from that. And with those cells, they're sent to Michigan State University and they are able to do DNA typing very similar to what you would see in a criminal case or a paternity case. Then with that DNA information, we're going to be able to help that producer know if that's an animal that they want to breed, is that an animal that they want to remove from their breeding program. An important part of any monitoring or surveillance program is also identification of the animal. In this particular program, the Scrapie program, we uh, implant a microchip at the base of the ear of these animals that they'll have th in, through their entire life. And that's an implant that we don't have to worry about falling out like an ear tag may fall out. And it does look like the future of identifying animals in the United States. Um, the implants are a nice way to be able to trace animals back that do have disease and find out where they came from so that we can address the problem. Part of this monitoring program and eradication program is uh, benefits both the producer and our consumers because the producer is putting out a high quality product and it's a safe food source for our consumers. Livestock inspections at sale barns are a key part of MDA's efforts to protect public health. Dr. Doug Hort explains the department's procedures. What I do here is, uh, a big part of what I do is check the records. I check the records because the uh, auction is bonded to help protect the farmers who are selling livestock here. So we check the records to see if their bond is appropriate for what they're selling. Um, we also check the records to make sure that the animals are identified properly. Uh, if something should come up that we need to trace back an animal, for instance, if there's a cow that shows up at a slaughter plant with uh, antibiotics in its system, we have to be able to trace that animal back to the farm to find out where the mistake was made and how we can correct that mistake. The health of the animals is also a concern of Dr. Hortz. One of the things we look for is on young calves, we want to make sure that they're old enough to be sold. 
Um, most of the calves that come through here are going, coming from dairy farms and then going to other farms where they will feed them and fatten them out. And we want to make sure that those calves are old enough to be s safely transferred ownership, to go to another farm where they'll be taken care of. Inspection and investigation services don't end there. The Animal Industry Division conducts annual inspections of animal shelters, dog pounds, pet shops, riding stables, and research facilities throughout the state, ensuring that owners are properly licensed and regulated and safeguarding the health and welfare of animals. Dr. Steve Halstead explains. Generally, we're looking out for the health and welfare of the animals. We want to make sure that the location is properly equipped and, and constructed to take care of them. And then we want to make sure that the staff is trained and that they know what they're doing, that they're prepared to deal with, with the animals as they're healthy and also to recognize when they're not so that they can consult with their veterinarian or take actions that are important for, the again, the, the health and welfare of the animals. Aquaculture is another area of MDA's responsibilities. The Michigan Department of Agriculture gets involved with many of the new and upcoming livestock industries in the state of Michigan. One of those is aquaculture or fish farming. And in the state veterinarian's office, we have responsibilities for not only working with those fish farmers, but also with working on disease control that has to do with them and trying to facilitate and help grow the industry in the state of Michigan. Dr. Michael Vanderkluck told us about some of the challenges the department faces every day. In working with a fish farm is very similar to working with other livestock industries. Under our registration program, we have some responsibilities for ensuring that the animals are contained, that they are working on disease control methods that will prevent the introduction of pathogens not only into the environment, but also between farms and then also looking at the overall health of the industry and the health of the farms. So as you're working with them, looking at disease control procedures, the way they move animals, what might be in their interest, and how can you assist them in actually increasing their production and helping them meet some of their goals. The impact of the Department of Agriculture's Animal Inspection Division on our food systems is clear. Well, in the Department of Agriculture, we have programs that go all the way from the uh, farm to the fork. Uh, we're involved in all aspects uh, in the animal industry division. We're involved more with the live animals. Uh, we inspect and are in all of the livestock sale yards to ensure that those animals are healthy animals that are offered for sale. We also are involved with what we call trace backs of any drug residues that may be reported through the federal government. And we work with them and have programs where we go and educate the farmers and the producers on how to prevent uh, drug residues or any type of residues in the food systems. The Department of Agriculture is not the only state department charged with protecting public health. MDA works closely with the Michigan Department of Community Health and the Michigan Department of Natural Resources on critical health issues such as monitoring livestock in areas where tuberculosis has been found in the deer population. We'll talk more about the joint efforts of these departments to fight tuberculosis in just a moment. But first, let's take a closer look at the role of veterinarians in the Department of Community Health and the Department of Natural Resources. Most of the veterinarians in the Michigan Department of Community Health have specialized training beyond that of veterinary medical education. That often includes uh, academic training in very specific subject areas such as